Hello and welcome back in this video series. Uh, I will be talking on uh, what is disaster recovery and I will be explaining the how to how to understand or I will be trying to explain you the disaster recovery in very low man, layman language. Uh, so what is disaster recovery? So if you go with the term or the or the description wise, so disaster recovery is a set of procedures and practice to do the recovery of your production IT infrastructure at the time of man-made or natural disaster. Uh, however, nobody understand what's what's that. So let me explain you in 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 another way. So let's assume in your production or your organization you have a data center, correct? Everyone has a data center. Everyone requires a data center at their production. So we have a data center. And uh, you have a servers which your application team or your, your users or your, your um, customers are using that. So very layman, layman language, you have your data centers where you have a couple of servers. And uh, everything is connected via network, everything is up and running. What if due to some reason, whether it's a natural or man-made uh, disaster, you lose this data center or you lose the connectivity to this data center? That means a disaster for your, for your uh, infrastructure. And uh, we are talking about the recovery of this. So when this data center is down or not accessible or, or not usable, you need to make sure we, we recover that with the help of backup or application or any other uh, mechanism we have already decided in the DR planning in DR side. When you do this recovery of the same servers, and the applications at DR site, it gets recovered, and this process called a disaster recovery. Okay, this can be a man-made or human disaster. This can be entire data center down, or this can be a single server down. Whether you you decide it, whether you call it a disaster or you just call it a failure of the server. In case if it's failure and you you restore that failure here only, so you cannot call it as a disaster. But yes, when you restore on the DR side, you, you call it as a, a disaster recovery. Okay, uh, what is a fail back or, or failover or fail, fail back process? Uh, I'll quickly take a some time because there will be a detailed discussion on this topic. So when you do the recovery, this process called failover. And when you once your recovery is complete, everyone is using this, your production site is back, it is accessible, however, it is not having the exact updated data for the time being when you were using the DR site. Whatever changes you get, you apply here, it's called fail back. Okay, and once the fail back is complete, the sites become the accessible to all the users and everything, business becomes normal, uh, then your DR exercise is complete. So, so this was a very lay, layman language. I tried to explain that what is a disaster recovery. And uh, I just wanted to emphasize some more time to explain what we will be learning, just use of this whiteboard. Uh, so we will be talking about the production sites where your data center is running, All right? We will be, we will be, so this is your prod, okay? I just realized whatever I'm writing about here, it is not visible. So this is your prod site. This is your DR site, okay? How to have a connectivity between these two sites? We will be talking about those things. Disaster recovery network planning. What is the RTO for fail back? What is the RPO for, for a fail, uh, failover, sorry? What is the RTO, what is RPO for failover? How to plan, how to, how to, how to think about the RTO and RPO? How, to, uh, how do you do the RPO versus RPO mapping? And there is a, there is a chart. So we will be talking about that in detail as well. Yes, of course. Uh, we will be talking about the uh, VMware recovery because most of the environment which I have seen today, most of the customers are using VMware. Uh, we will be talking about the uh, recovery in cloud. So you can have the production at your hosted environment at your data center, but you can do the recovery in cloud because nowadays cloud is, is the option to, to deploy or implement anything. Um, 
you can talk about the, the cloud recovery into the DR side or vice versa cloud to cloud recovery so there will be so many things I will be discussing in separate separate topics so uh, I will make sure I will cover them separately so even if you go and watch the individual video about a particular things you will understand it very clearly I hope you would have understand the uh, concept about the disaster recovery and what is a DR planning and uh, how to how to do a disaster recovery uh, what is the RTO and RPO yes we will be talking in details about that for sure but it was just a high level explanation to start with I hope you would have understand something from this uh, let's see you in, in, in the next video uh, before we uh, we disconnect I would like you to watch my videos share with your friends please subscribe my channel and thank you so much for watching have a nice day